What's up you guys, it's Ashley's birthday morning this morning. She's in there right now sitting next to her present, but I told her she had to wait because I had to run in here and grab something first. It is tradition for us to wake each other up slash celebrate with each other on a birthday morning listening to Happy Birthday by Stevie Wonder. Okay, Ash, we're ready now. <laughs> like, Happy words. birthday! Oh, dear. Let, me, let me start that over real quick. Thanks to Martin Luther King. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, now you can open your present, my I think I know what this is. Happy birthday. What do you think it is? Well, I just know what I always tell you I like when we go to stores. Did you see where it's from? Yes. It's from mm. that country. I'm gonna be really disappointed if it's not what I think it is. <laughs> I got you some socks. <laughs> I mean, I could find you some pretty cool socks from back country, but they're not socks. Oh, what did you think it was? I thought it was a Patagonia over, like, throw pullover. I like this too. It's the other Wait, I have this sweater and I love it, but this is a different color. It's the other one that, that you don't have yet. Times like these, it's really nice when you fall asleep in your clothes because you can just switch out your outfit real fast. Well, she's changing. If you're wondering where I was last night until midnight, I fell asleep on George's bed. I was like, we read some books and then he was like, oh, it looks good. <laughs> oh, okay. He was like, um, after we read books, I was saying, I was like, hi, George. He's like, wait, Dad, can we snuggle? And then I was like, yeah, okay, buddy, of course we can. I love you. And then we just laid there for a little bit. And I swear, like, 10 seconds, I was gone. I was out. Boo, I, I love that sweater. That looks so cool. I love it. Happy birthday. So I thought, I just thought it was the Patagonia one. But I love all the That one looks really cool. I like the colors. Well, birthday day has just begun, Ash. We get to go to church next. Usually, if my birthday fell on Sunday, I would be a little bit disappointed. But I'm not now. Ever since Dell and I got married, we instituted birthday week. Because it's just too disappointing to wait for one day all year long. So now we wait for a week. And sometimes it turns into a month. Birthday week starts today. It's my actual birthday. I turn 30, which is weird because I associate in my mind with myself as like a 17 year old, but now okay. I'm 30. That is okay. And in 10 years, I'll be 40. And in 40 years, I'll be dead. In the circle of life. That's it. That's how it goes. So essentially today and for all of the days this week, Dallin has planned momentous big and small events. I have. And it's my job just to receive them with grace. To not expect them, but to expect them at the same time. That's that's the plan. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready. Let's I'm do ready. this. What, did you wake up? Yeah! Big jump. Okay, let's go. We're only 50 minutes late. All right, we finally made it to church this morning. Routine's late. You guys, we've wanted to do a Sunday morning routine video for so long, but it's just. Sundays are just so hectic. Maybe we'll figure it out eventually, but for now we have not figured out a way to film this while still trying to get to church at a reasonable time. I was holding James in a church class, but she won't stop singing, which is great, but also distracting. Ready? That's your Let Let it go. She just sings her heart out at church. So we're just out in the hallway singing a little Daddy. bit. George is over in his in his children's primary class. He is loving primary. Jimsy, who is that? Jesus. Yeah, that's Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're picking George up. What is it? What did you draw, bud? Let me see. A Nephi. Oh, cool. Is that Nephi? In his boat? <laughs> yeah. Yep. But I forgot to draw it. Oh, okay. Hey, George, let's go scare Dad. Should we go get him? Are you a dinosaur? Okay. What are you, George? I have sharp teeth. <gasps> Look! And I have some something in my toes. Dinosaur toes! <gasps> I have a screaming tail and my dinosaur head. And I open my mouth and I have sharp teeth. <gasps> Look! Okay, let's go scare Dad. He's downstairs working. Very sneaky. Oh, gosh, you scared me. What's going on, mister? I have a pretty problem. You have a what? Yeah, a problem. What is your problem, my bud? The monster right in our house. You have to stop him. You better turn into Spider-Man. I will. 
Okay, hey Spider-Man, I gotta turn into Superman. Okay, let's go Spider-Man. Okay. Come on baby, let's go get those monsters. <laughs> Where are they, George? Right here. Get them! Webs! So this is kind of a present for George and James, but mostly George. As he's getting older, we kind of need some older books to read to him at bedtime. So I got a couple from my favorite book list and then a couple that I know he's gonna love. I can post a link. It's from a homeschool curriculum that just really encourages good literature, good quality literature. The Berenstain Bears Big Book of Science and Nature. So it just has tons of cool like science, little lesson stories, and nature stories. Oh, I need to open that one. I need to order her a package. She really loves packages. Speaking of which, we gotta go check the mail. I know. George's new favorite, favorite books are the Berenstain Bear books. And I love them because I think they have really great language in them. Like really cool, really like higher level words. And they're more words than say like the baby board books that James loves right now. They have really good morals too. Trouble at school, the bad dream, forget their manners. Geez, you got a lot of books. They're like $4, too much junk food. Go to the doctor and this is gonna be a really I read one. all of these when I was little. Yay, Sam. So apparently this is a giant airbag. Oh. safe he is. So that's to save him when he's snowmobiling in avalanche territory. <laughs> Look what my mom made for me. Look at the wow. logo. Those are cute. Did you make those? Sure did. It's my new hobby. <laughs> so tonight after food, we're all decorating cookies, I guess. The greatest kitchen drawer I've ever seen. <laughs> Everybody's saying all their favorite things about Ashley now. I think Ashley was our girl born probably at the, one of the most difficult times in our life. It was First year of law school, we lived in a hovel. We were dirt poor. No, she's always made me happy and proud and been a great example to her sister. So that's why I love Ash. Joe was my first child and she didn't like anything girly. And then Ashley came along and everything had to be. It was all about the dresses and the frills and the dolls and the purple and pink. Yeah, so her side of the closet had lots of frilly dresses and Jill's was like, not. Georgie, what? what time is it now? It's time for cake. Yep. Happy birthday to you. I brought James over to practice blowing candles, but she's just like picking at the icing. Hey! <laughs> stinker. George, what did you learn at church? I, I, I wasn't singing. Uh-huh. What's your favorite church song? Jesus. Jesus? Yep. He's my favorite song too. Can you yeah. sing Sunbeep? Sunbeep! It's really sunbeam. Jesus wants me for, for a, a sunbeam to shine for him each day. A sunbeam. Good. Yeah, a beep. Good. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. I'll be a sunbeam for a sunbeam. What about the other one? The Lord commanded Nephi to go and get the Golden place. I will. Oh. I will. <laughs> oh, and a pine cone. Yeah. James, did you go to church? Yeah. Hey, Jamesy, can you sing Elsa? <gasps> Georgie, what's your favorite color? Orange. You like orange? And pink. <gasps> Ooh, those are good ones. That's good ones. Yeah. I thought your favorite color was green. Is it orange and pink now? Yep. Cool. George, what is your best trick? For all my friends. Yeah. G George, what? Uh oh, you okay? You all yeah. Are you all done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're all done. Can you say goodnight to Ashley family? Goodnight, Ashley family.
you're the best. Thanks. You don't need nothing cause you're magic. magic. I want you just the way you are. I want you just the way you are. The definition of a classic. classic. I want you just the way you are.